Well, would you look at that? It's my Wednesday now, isn't it? Hi, I'm Vicki, Stitch and Button. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. This is my floss tube number 29. Getting a little hang of this. I have a list. I made a list. I checked it twice. I put piles here to show you. Um, had a little bit going on because it's been, what, two and a half weeks now? So I actually got to stitch. Um, I've got some stuff in the mail. I made some plans or decisions, I guess. So, and I have a finish. So, let's get into it. I want to, of course, thank everybody for checking me out. I've, I've got a lot of new, uh, subscribers, which I said after I got over 500, I'd do a giveaway, and I will be doing that. I put together some stuff for a giveaway. I don't think I, I start to send um, Crystal's giveaway present, but she's getting something else. So I'm just waiting for that to be done and then I'll send it all together. She knows she'll get her stuff. I wanted to show my Philadelphia cup. This is what I got when I was in Pennsylvania. It says John and City Brotherly Love. It's got, I don't know if you know this, but it's got the first zoo, the first library, first newspaper, and of course, they've got baseball. They didn't put the Philadelphia Eagles, of all things not to put, especially since we finally won the Super Bowl, but they did put cheesesteak and pretzel in there so I guess they couldn't. Get, they could have got the Eagles logo in there. I mean, come on, All right? What is this? We, we don't need that candy in there. We could. We could have put an Eagles head on there, a big old cheesesteak and some fries. I'm pretty sure that looks like it came from uh, Gino's, because Gino's puts their fries in a cup. I don't like Gino's steaks, just to be clear. I don't need Gino's or Pat's. If I'm going to eat one of the. Um, from one of the places that's a tourist trap I'd eat from Jim's over on 4th and South. Otherwise, I go to stake them up on 11th and Chunk. And there's no such thing as green peppers in your cheesesteak. Not if you're in Philly. That's only outside of Philly. Okay, so I did do some stitching. I was sort of sporadic stitching. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. I belong to a group... Stitching nest. Ginger, GG and Stitches sucked me into it. And I'm not really good in the group, but every once in a while I will, um, I'm writing her name down. Every once in a while I'll go in and she had some crazy goals for April 1st. So I said, ah, I'll just see what I can do. One of them was uh, stitched like 500 stitches in five minutes or something. I don't remember how many I got in, but it definitely was nowhere clear. So it wasn't even 50 stitches. And then there was 5,000 stitches in an hour or something. So I just figured, let me see. I'm just curious as to how many I would stitch in an hour if I just stitched. I picked something easy. I, I chose, I know I say easy, but it is. If Once I show you what I mean. It's my Heaven and Earth Design Blue Flame that I had restarted. I just went and loaded up a whole bunch of needles and I started going in on just black. I figured that's the easiest I could do is just do black. I don't, no color changes, no confetti or anything. And I did a whole bunch. Matter of fact, see all this right here? That was in there too. And then later on, I went to go stitch again after the little challenge and I realized I was one off. I was off by one stitch here, so I had to pull all that out. So it's all pulled out, and I just have to continue stitching again. I, uh, oh well. I'm still better than I was. I, I mean, it's still further than I was before the little challenge. So I was happy with it anyway. Things happen. At least it was black, and I just have to stitch black right on top of it. It, it You won't even notice that I, um... I had to pull those stitches out. I'm gonna put it away because I have a lot of stuff here. You don't mind waiting, right? 
If you do, I'm sure there's a thousand other floss tubes you could watch. Okay. I also stitched on... This is not the right bag. Put that down there. I'm going to have to turn around and look for it. I stitched on... Animal Magnetism. Hey, Gary, I didn't take anything out. Or off the Q-snaps. Deal with it. Okay, what can I put behind this? I'm not prepared as well as I thought it was. Don't look at my hair. I didn't do anything with it. Anyway. Okay, so basically what I did was I did a whole bunch of fill-in down here. I think I, I did pretty good. I got a couple hundred stitches in because it, it's uh, not as confetti as a hate, but it is kind of, there's like three different colors I did just to fill in this area over here. I'm pointing to the right place, yes, over here. So I filled some in and it's looking good and I have to see if I have a picture of it. I might have printed a picture out. Yes, I did. This is what it looks like. Saw them over here. And uh, I keep on thinking, well, let me do some line. I'm like, no, I really want to work on this elephant. Now, I told you this was stolen from me after I put hours and hours in. So I'm not even, I don't know that I've done even half to make up what was stolen. Because uh, I think I had the whole giraffe done except for the back stitching also. But it's looking pretty and I'm glad I finally got over the heartache okay somewhat over the heartache i'm feeling more petty now i hope the woman gets like chronic ingrown toenails on every toe on her foot but i don't wish her death inconvenience remember you don't wish anybody dead you just wish them very inconvenient things <sighs> karma let karma take the wheel right i also worked on let's do coffee I'll look up her name again because you know I'm horrible with it. It's by Ursula Michael from Imaginating. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's not even coffee. I thought I'd drop coffee on it. It's a sticker. <laughs> I thought it was a spot. Anyway, I was working over here, though. And I didn't do too much. I just worked on it a little bit one night. I was like, I hadn't stitched. And I was like, I want to stitch a little bit before I go to bed. So, I filled in some more around this O, which is two strands. And then it's one strand. I did the all the backstitch letters that are done there. So, not a little bit. I mean, not a lot, but every little bit counts. And I didn't have to take any of it out. So, that's a major bonus, right? It's my bag. My friend Connie made me. It fits just right. All right. What else do I have? I'm going to take this out of the Q-snap so you can see everything that I've done. But this I actually showed, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, I showed on Saturday when I was sitting in with the Sunshine Stitchers because Shelia wasn't there. It's not because Shelia wasn't there. I didn't get the meter, and I'm feeling a little bitter about that. But I did have a good time. But I showed this and I've made more progress because I've done all this gray here and I finished this motif that was right here. So, and matter of fact, what else have I done since I, I think I finished more gray in here too. So I did a lot of the gray and it doesn't go up much further. It's like goes right up to here. That's the squid body that I'm starting and it stops at the squid head in this corner. So I think I've done pretty good. I even got some stitches in earlier today. Not bad. Again, that's my Ursula Needle Minder. That's in my Etsy and on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, Stitch and Button Crafts uh, on Instagram and Stitch and Button and my Etsy, she's available. I've got a bunch of her. I bought a bunch of her. I thought she was cute. And she's, I made Gina and I bags and she's in her bag. All right, let me put this together. I don't need the loose parts, right? Got enough issues. I did work on one more thing, and it was I started 
A Little Coffee by Lizzie Kate. That's the bag that I thought I grabbed. I grabbed the wrong one. It wasn't a lot. I think I did the word Java and a couple of the beans. So it was better than nothing and it was a start. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with all the stitching I did because I've been really slacking on stitching lately. I've been otherwise detained with things. I cut out a bunch of bags this week. A lot of them are for pre-orders and I always try to put in some extras. I still have some bags available too. So I like to try to offload those too. All right, so I know I showed Midsummer Night's Fairy. It's a Mirabilia. And I told you the saga with that. It, it Stuff getting on the fabric. Had to get that taken out. And then I made a mistake. And I thought I was going to have to take out the whole bottom part. Because this whole dress is done down here. Which I'll show you in a minute. So that's what she looks like. And I sat down to look and see. Where I needed to fix it. Here's what I have done on her. She's pretty far along. I mean, I think I'm definitely going to do the skin one over one. It's not a lot. And with Krynik, nobody wants to do tons of Krynik. Nobody wants to do Krynik. So what I did was I'd stitch some cotton, stitch some Krynik, stitch some cotton, stitch some Krynik. It just takes the, the pain out of doing it so much, right? I think I'm totally done. The log or the the branch she's sitting on. And I have a few more leaves to do over here. So anyway, so this. This is off. When I look, there was two little parts here that I had also had set, stitched in. And I sat down. And I got my magnifying glasses on. Okay, so I took out my readers because I'm going blind. And um, I looked at it to see, let me see where the start of where I messed up is. Well, guess what? It's all the way up here in the green. If I were to have to take all that out and then the dress, who knows where I ended up because I did it so long ago. You know, usually you can remember how you stitched and then you can go reverse. I don't remember. So I looked at it and I said, okay, so it's one off. All, and what I had in here wasn't going to line up, and that's how I knew something was wrong. So I started looking at it, and I said, well, I've got two choices. Either I'll throw it away, because there's no way I'm taking all that out. Or, if you can't fix it, feature it, right? So I looked at the dress, and I made sure where the holes are, whether it's not stitched, that the beads go there, and that's where they need to be. And it is. That, that's all right. So I took out the extra here, and I'm just going to have to flub it going across and finish it off. I just have to remember to deal with that extra one stitch somewhere in here. Either add it somewhere or omit it somewhere and just finish off the purple. That way I could say goodbye to the bottom for good until, until beads do we part. And then move up to the top and get her done. Because believe it or not, I've never finished a mirror yet. So that was the first one I started, and it's still sitting there. And I have more I, w I would like to do. I, I'm not as mirror crazy as I used to be. I used to want to do, like, all the things. But now there's a couple uh, I want to do. I think I have a uh, butterfly fairy or butterfly queen or whatever she was. And I have Serena. And I have, um, there's a few of them I have that I want to do. But this one, this one brings back memories because my mom worked on Midsummer Night's Dream. It was a uh, play in Philly. And that's why I ended up choosing it to start with. So I definitely want to get that done. I have a Hade. It's a Tatiana and Puck, which is also from Midsummer Night's Dream. That I'd like to do one of these days also. So let me put her back in there. Now I said I had decision. 
Again, this is something that I actually announced. If you watch Sunshine Stitchers on Saturday, or since they've uploaded on Saturday, then you've heard the spoiler that I am not going to finish Ice Angel the way it is. I had most of her badonka donk done. As you know, I did it in rayon instead of the white and the merlet. I don't even know if I, anybody know where I can get that marlet, whatever that's called. I'm going to have to look around and see if I can't get it. If not, it'll just have to be in whites. But I don't like the way the stitches are laying. And I wasn't going to pick all of that out. So I just cut out around the linen and I saved the other pieces. I've got two pieces that are a pretty decent size. And then I've got two pieces that'll be good for ornaments. It's a twilight blue linen. I think it's a permanent one and it's pretty stiff and see-through. So yeah, we nixed this because I was never finished. Every time I go to look at it or work on it and I see some of the, the way some of them were laying and it just makes me sick. So I don't want to, I don't, I can't look at it anymore. So that's going in the trash like now. I almost threw in trash already. But I forgot I had to show it on my video. All right. I also had a finish finally how many times did i say oh yeah i should have this done i should have this done in no time i'll have this done so i can take you see this a moth hit me when i was outside <sighs> bugs florida life anyway so he's done finally finished my night wizard i think he turned out really cute there's a little bit of chronic in here just some gold right there on the corners of the book while dragon's reading over his shoulder everybody's got a smile on their face i had a smile on my face when i was done by the way i finished all the stitching and i was doing the back stitching as i went along and i finally did all the back stitching and the last of it was just like the rest of these wor words here and i was done i didn't date it or sign it i'm good with that like i said i think i'm i'm pretty sure what i'm gonna do is take the two wizards and make them and make it a tote bag and then get the fairies that I did and make those a tote bag also. I think that'll be cute. Best laid plans. I've got a lot of finishing to do. I have finishing for other people. I want to get done too. Like Gina's. It's around here somewhere, G. Don't worry. All right. So I have, oh, uh, also, I'll talk about the one in a second. <laughs> a, a mistake or a flub or a redo that I did. As, I laughed at it anyway. So I bought a few things. I had been at the Family Dollar. I don't know if you guys have a family. It's not the Dollar General, but it's a Family Dollar, which is very similar, by the way. But they had these bags for $3. They're see-through. I didn't take the paper out. I just thought that was cute. Mermaid at heart. And then this one. It's just pineapples. Just on the one side. Pineapples. I could use those for project bags too. Because they're see-through. Be able to see exactly what's there. There's that. Okay. Then I received my Crazy Annie's Country Christmas Ornament Club. And it was a sleigh. Hey Gary, it's still in the plastic. But there's no glare. It's a sleigh and the little, you can barely see the buttons. They're just, they're gold bells. I thought they were pumpkins at first. I'm like, what are they sending pumpkins for? And then I realized, oh, <laughs> it's a bell. So Saturday, I went down, I took a trip to Fort Lauderdale. I finally made it to the cover. I met up, EJ was there first. She was there with a bunch of ladies. I know Deb was one of the ladies, too, because I remember seeing her in, on the videos and stuff. And Gary came in later. I, I Instead of sitting down and stitching right away, I said, well, you know, if you go, you got to to a new shop. you got to buy something. So I was shopping around, and I really didn't find anything. I found, like, one thing, maybe, and then I was debating. And then Gary came in, and he's really good at picking stuff out for other people instead of stitching while he's at the cover, by the way. Yeah. He did no stitching whatsoever. Slacker. But he did find, while I was over looking 
at stuff, he found one for me. Prairie Moon. Dorothy is my daughter. So, I bought that one. I think The Witch is a little... This isn't my absolute favorite of the Crypt Club. Because her back's just like... You know, it's a little off. But I do like it. And then, I don't want all of the animal stacks from Plum Street. But I really do like Llama Lump. So I bought Llama Lump. Because it was there. And they had that one and the Fox one. The Fox one's like a little whimsical for me. So I don't know that I'll get the Fox one. But I think I want the pigs and the cows also. Definitely the pigs and the cows. I don't know if I'd do any of the others. But these are cute. And I don't have a lot of classic color work. So I just bought two that went with it. That they had. There was, of course they didn't have any hickory sticks. Wonder why. Right? And then I bought one of the week's dye works that I didn't think I had. Cause I, and otherwise, I'll just substitute. You know, I, I don't mind substituting. And they also gave me a free chart. It's the Spring Bunny Love from the Snowfall Hour Diaries. I don't know if this is something you can get on their blog or if they just sent it to shops or not. But it's cute. It's these two little bunnies. Cute. So, after the cover, we went over to Gary's house. And... He's a Nazi when it comes to getting ready. You have to take everything out of your cue snaps, put it on a board, get it out of the plastic, and get all your stuff together. So <laughs> we did all that. And uh, while we were doing that, Ronnie was making dinner. It was delicious, by the way, because we ate afterwards. And he also had a bag waiting for me that I asked him if he had any extras to let me know, and he did. This one. Ah! Look at these girls. I love it. Look at that. I love the colors. Love the tattoos. Look at that. That back. So cool. So cool. Big old set of boobies right on the front. Boobies. Right? Whatever. And then the front is this really cool red. And again, I showed this through uh, the Sunshine Stitchers. If you don't watch them, you can go see me again. Well, in here, I was looking for a project that, that I felt like working on. I wasn't sure what I wanted to work on. I went on my wheel. I made sure I took the wizard off, and I wanted to look and see what's there. And then I started going through bags, and I look at one bag, the clown bag. Yeah, the clown bag, and then another bag. I had hashtag Audrey is a scary one kitted twice i probably have it in the in my videos too and totally didn't remember so basically once i found it twice i had to figure out what i really liked what i stuck with was the threads that i picked the second time i really liked the way i went with that colorway and i changed out i think one or two threads like the one orange was the better orange for what i wanted right and then I decided to use the Witch's Brew instead of the brown from Picture This Plus. So this is Witch's Brew from, uh, let me see if you can see it better. Look at that, that's cool. It's Witch's Brew from Dames of the Needle. And I showed you this before, um, I kitted up Elevenses on this after I fit, ordered, I couldn't even tell you how much I ordered in fabrics to try to match up the perfect one in here. I had it the whole time. Yeah. So again, here's the colors that I chose, the main colors that I chose. There's some over dyes. There's even some DMC in here. There's a random house of embroidery. And those are gonna be my colors. All right. Hashtag Audrey is a scary one. If uh, if you have the chart kitted out, we're going to start May 4th because it looks like Audrey is definitely going to finish that mocha. Yeah. She only has, I think, 310 left to fill in and she will be done. She definitely can do this. What's at the 10th now? She's got this. No problem, I'm sure. She, 
We've been cheering her on all the way. And I'm pretty sure she tried to say I was harassing her. But she'd say that anyway, just to take the fact off that she's a hashtag a bully. So, that is my perch. Those are my purchases. And what I stitched on, I did get some happy mail. I am double checking my list. I received a package like the day after I did my video. I, I received two packages. One of them is from my friend Jay Long. And she's a nut job and a slacker. Major slacker. She has had things that she wanted to send me since September. Which just means that the box got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So she finally had my name, address, the items the box and her debit card because that was an issue one time too all at the same time at the post office and was able to send my package well like i said she's had it for a while one of the things that she's been holding out on me is my poop emoji ornament for christmas now i gotta go down to the shed and put this in my christmas stuff so it can make it on my tree next year Yes, I will put a poo on my tree. Judge me all you want. I think he's fabulous. He's rainbow. Everybody should have a rainbow poo. Well, you know, keeping with out of the season, she got found these great socks. And it says Rantin', Ra Rantin' and Raven. Which is absolutely me. We send each other socks all the time. And then she had to send a few pairs. Oh, my nose won't stop itching. YouTube, I've got the YouTube nose, right? Lisa Silver Stitcher is going to be so jealous. Look, Lisa. Pucker up. Two pairs of lemon socks. <sighs> then there was a whole bunch. whole bunch. Of limited edition threads. And... Most of them don't have names, so I'm just going to show you colors. This looks like there's two of that one. Let me see. Where'd my folder go? Some orange, some green, some purpley blue. This one's a reddish pink. It almost reminds me of like a Valentine's. It's another green. All of them are limited edition. This one's like a blacky purple color. Uh, that's not showing up so well. This one's a purple, which is a little bit lighter than that one. Almost the same. There's another green and another reddish pink. There's a couple purple ones here. Hang on, let me see. Those look like they're from the same dye lot. They've got some purple and dark seafoam green in it and then another stormy ocean which was like this one and then another this one that, that was stormy ocean was the only one with the name I got all these maybe I should look at scary one and re-kit it for the third time what do you think <laughs> Okay, that's not all, but that's not all. She also sent me, she knew I'd be running low. She sent me tissues because Audrey got cheap on me and stopped sending me tissues. And it's been a month, obviously, you know. And she shared some buttons from the bee company with me. She had two packs. One pack was uh, brooms and one was hats. And she split them with me. How cool is that? I can't wait to put something. Stitch something. I can't wait to stitch something. Finish something and put these on there. I think that's cool. I wonder if there's any Halloween stuff I could add. I'll have to look. I have finishing to do. I said I wanted to do some finishing every month. That hasn't happened either. She also, she works with Cindy Sorley. And she got me this great fabric. She asked me what kind I liked. I said I really like the Barnwood one. Because I'm sure I could find something to put on it. So she came through. She knows I like 32 count. 
and it's definitely it's called wood wood haha <laughs> um 32 count this is a for this is stitchery express and it's fabric flare wood stitchery express is uh cindy sorley's group on facebook and i can uh put a link there if i write it down i don't know if i'm shaking the camera or not and then she also there's more she sent a great card and it says sorry sorry this card's late i don't know it's like Lately, my mind has been on vacation or something. I'm forgetting things. Misplacing th stuff. Losing my train of thought. It sucks. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas. By the way, when's your birthday? I want to make sure I don't forget it. Um, my birthday was before Christmas, by the way. <laughs> and then, like, my favorite thing, as much as I loved everything, I already wore this because I don't care about whatever rule anybody made up about. You can't use it. I try not to, but if I want to, I do what I want. She got me this t-shirt. There's too much blood in my caffeine system. I just took this. It smells so good. I just took it out of the laundry. I just washed it. <laughs> anyway, I wore this on Saturday, and I meant to say something when I did the video with Gary and EJ and uh, Carolina, but I sidetracked with them that was fun that was a lot of fun doing that and I'm, I'm gonna try to get down to the cover like once a month anyway thank you Jay Long you know I love everything I already talked to you we talked on the phone and online um okay yeah that was everything right oh she sent me candy I ate it sue me they were airheads um, I love chewy gummy candy so so sue me I also received a little international mail. My friend Dawn, who is Frosty X Stitch. You are Frosty X Stitch, aren't you, Dawn? I will find the link. It will be in the description anyway, and I'm pretty sure it's Frosty X Stitch, not Frosty Cross Stitch. And I'm writing that down too, because I don't want to forget. J Long doesn't have a YouTube. Anyway, a, I received this little package from from Dawn, and it's got a great note in there. And then she sent me, I don't have the chocolate, because again, like I said, I had to try it. It's really dark, like 90% cacao chocolate. Boy, was that rich. It's very, very, very dark chocolate. I don't know if anybody likes it really now I like a special dark and stuff like this this was even darker than that so I like it and I did have a square but I think it, when I eat it again I'm gonna eat it with some peanut butter I think it's gonna be delicious like that that or in my ice cream she also added a little package and at first I didn't even know what it was and I sort of th fumbled through the different languages that were on the package and they were chocolate dusted not really chocolate covered but they were like chocolate dusted coffee beans real coffee beans dusted with chocolate co cocoa of some sort and those were good i've eaten a few of those already and um different than our i don't know if you guys have had uh chocolate covered coffee beans but in the u.s they make them a lot sweeter they cover it with like a melted chocolate. These ones are dusted with the cocoa, so it was definitely different. It wasn't as sweet, but it was still good. Definitely good. And then she added one of the little Prairie School or, oop, I'll just throw him down there, right? Little Prairie School or ornaments. Snowman, I think he's cute. Definitely. Hey, he might fit on that, uh, piece of it definitely would fit on that piece of linen that I cut up from Ice Angel and she sent this cute needle minder look how cute that is it's a fabric one she said a she had ordered them from a friend I think she said let me she might have said she might have told me in a message but not on here no she told me in a message not, not in the card 
But look how cute that is. She saw it and thought about me and she sent me it. It's button tight and it's got fabric. So this definitely, maybe this, I can use this with scary one. Let me put that in there. I'll put that in there now so I don't forget. There we go. Thank you, Dawn. Loved it. And I sent you a message, by the way. You'll probably get that before you get to watch the video. Depending on uh, if you're looking at your phone. How you're looking at your phone. Um, hmm. Oh, I did one other thing. A lot of people do uh, project cards and project papers and stuff like that. And I thought about it, but I don't want to keep a project journal. I just, I know I'm not going to fill it out. I just, it just, more time takes away from me doing stuff. And I know some people like doing that. And that's why we're all different because we like different things, right? So what I decided to do though, to make it a little bit easier is, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's another thing I did. Two things. Okay. So I have an app on my iPad to make business cards for my stitch and button stuff for Etsy and, and things. I make labels and cards and I print them out myself. And I do that through an app. You can get it in uh, your app store. It's uh, Avery, the ones that make the labels and the cards. So what I did was I opened it up and I made my own cards, but I put it on cardstock and just cut it out instead of getting business cards to do it with. Now I did it and then I realized the mistake after, of course, I printed it out. But that's okay. What I did was I put project information, design name, the designer. I meant to put fabric in there. <coughs> totally forgot. The start date and the finish date. I'm not as concerned with what exact threads I used. More like what the fabric is so I could tell you guys. And uh, I know what count it is. It helps later. So I filled one out for elegant squid and I think I put it in that bag and as I take out my projects I'm gonna start filling these out put them in the bags and then I save the project so I can always do another one <coughs> I was doing good without the coffin another thing I did I watched um, Linda Linda Craig Australian I'm going to write that down too. And then I'm going to have to find the video that I'm going to talk about. Okay, so in one of Linda Craig's videos, she says she saw a video by Teresa the Little Stitcher. I, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the woman. Teresa the Little Stitcher. She's also Australian. And, um, writing that down. Now, I see a lot of people saying they use their iPads for their charts. I am not done that. I basically just take my photocopies of my charts for working copies, and I mark the heck out of those, and write notes and color them in, and have all kinds of, uh, um, colored pencils. <coughs> Excuse me. Finish this up. I, um... I was trying to catch up with Linda Craig. She only puts out a video once a month, once every two months, so I try to keep up with those. I fell behind on a lot of my floss tubes since I was away for a month, and I've decided that I'm not going to catch up with everybody. I just can't. If you think that there's a video that I definitely need to watch, then let me know in the comments below or message me or something like that. But I think for everybody that I usually subscribe to and comment on, I'm just going to watch the last one and go from there. I, I'm not going to drive myself crazy. I actually just started a job, so I'm doing training. It's at home job, which is good. But um, I'm not just going to have I'm not going to have the time to do it, and I still want to try to keep up. And if I try to go back, I'm just going to feel like I'm drowning and get frustrated and I don't need it. So, anyway, so I was watching Linda and um, she said that she found a video through Teresa the Little Stitcher that show, had a comprehensive video on how to use the product or the app, Goodreads. 
and it's an app that you can it, you, you purchase it and I don't know if it's for Android but I know it's on iPad and it was eight dollars it was like 7.99 and I, that's another reason why I never did it because if I'm gonna put out money for an app I want to make sure that that's the app that I want so I watched Teresa's full video she shows start to finish how she puts that the the project in her app and you can do it by like for Hades you have a PDF and if you send the PDF over to like the, the way I did it is I sent the PDF from my Hades over to my drop not my Dropbox I used uh, the Google what's the storage Google one it's got a triangle you know what I'm talking about you're screaming it at me right now and I can't even remember it's a Google Drive so I sent it all to my Google Drive and then from Google Drive I was able to go on my iPad and put them all into the Goodreads app now some of them I didn't have a PDF or anything for so I had to take pictures like for the squid I just did a you know a copy real quick on my printer I didn't scan it I just copied it and printed out a copy and threw it in my pattern thing so what I did was it was already colored in on what I had stitched already so I took pictures of the stuff that was already colored in and that way I didn't have to highlight it in the app it was already highlighted and then I just add the highlighting I will add like I said I'm gonna put the video of how to use the Goodreads in my description below in case you're interested because I know I'm not the last one in the world not to be doing this because you weren't quite sure what you were getting into and if you're gonna spend eight dollars for an app you want to make sure it's the one you want and that it's good for you I do suggest though that if you do that you might want to get a stylus it makes it a little bit easier you can do it without it but the stylus you can get it stylus cheap you really can and sometimes some people places give them to you for free I got mine for free Jenny gave it to me <laughs> um, yeah so I started doing that and I think I have most of I made folders of stuff that I've kitted and stuff that are actual whips so I know where all my patterns are because I have I'm down to 19 whips now that are actually started and um, I forget what the total is of what I plan on doing also because I'm still I'm still doing good with my my plans of uh, of finishing off what I have and then those few that I said I wanted to start I still I've still been pretty good with that so you know, I, I keep some of my plans some of the time. I, um, it was another thing, wasn't there? The app, the card. Uh, I said, oh, good reads. I'll, I'll put that just in case. App, and then the, um, Avery app. Basically, with the Avery app, I just chose a blank business card and I forget what number but because when you go in and you start a project and you choose business cards you can actually choose the model number of the paper that you buy for them I just chose one that was like a wide one it's not even the one that I standardly use for my business cards because I didn't care I just wanted to get 10 of them on a on a sheet so I can cut them the way I wanted to and then I just I used it blank and I just added text boxes in there and I'm sure you could do it all in one text box I did individual ones so I could show, sort of space them differently and I even used one of their little um, pictures to add into the corner just because I could uh, if you have any questions about that you can message me email me at the stitching button or the stitching button gmail or get me on Instagram or something like that if you really want to do that just let me know um, there's one more thing and I think I am done let me st oh there are a couple more things two people apparently I went international with watching new people this this week I wanted to watch a couple of new people even though I'm not caught up with everybody else but 
one of them that caught my eye was Julia, Stitching with Julia, and that's not the name of her channel. Her, the name of her channel is like Armada, and I think it's like A-R-R-M-A-D-D-A. -R -R -D -D I'm pretty sure that's how she spells it. And her name's Julia. She's R Russian. She's a R Russian woman that lives in Ireland. And she just learned English about four years ago, I want to say. I'm pretty sure she said she learned English about four years ago after being out of Russia for 13 years. Finally learned English. Her children now were born in Ireland, so they make fun of her for her English. Are you kidding me? She's got great English. She's got better English than some people that I know, or even especially in this town. Trust me, she's just fine. And I keep on telling her, everybody keeps on telling her, stop, stop, she's doing just fine. Anyway, I had mentioned her Saturday when I was in the video with Gary and EJ Sunshine Stitchers. But I wanna make sure I give her a shout out here also because you need to go see, especially if you like Mirabilia's, she loves them. She loves all the mermaids. I think she plans on doing all of them. And let me just tell you, I am not lying when she's like, oh yeah, I did this mermaid in five days. Five days, not five months, not five years, five days. Are you kidding me? I mean, beads, the whole nine yards. She loves using different kinds of beads. She uses a lot of bicones. She'll buy a lot of her beads on the internet she'll get them from uh where, where she she'll get some from russia she'll get some from china she'll get some from uh, the ukraine and she just uses what she has and what she thinks and she, she's doing a great job by the way and she stitches fast and she stitches a lot and her things are gorgeous and blingy so if you like blingy and gorgeous and mermaids and all the things like that definitely check her out definitely I I watched she's only got three videos I've already watched all three um the another one that I checked out was Curry and Stitches I don't know why I haven't watched her before uh I've been following her on on Instagram and never got around to watching her I think and she was in my wheel for for new to me floss tours to watch but um I finally watched her. I, I, now I didn't go all the way back because she does have a lot of videos. But I did watch her last one. And I like her. I like her. Hi, Carrie. I think she just um, subscribed to mine. She's in the UK. So, like I said, I went international. I've got one in Ireland, one in the UK. I watched Linda Craig. I just I, I watched Americans, too. I, I watched Pam and Steph. And, <laughs> and Amy loves toads. Hi, Amy. Uh, I'll have more toad pictures for you. There's been one in the window, a new one. Um, yesterday and today, so, uh, and then there was just one more thing I wanted to say, um, a little sad, and I, I have not stitched this person's designs, I think I have a couple, I know I have a couple of the magazines, but I just saw that Margaret Sherry passed away, for those of you that don't know, Margaret Sherry is the one that did the cute cats and mice that were in the UK magazines, and did she do the bear too, was she, did she do Simon? the bear is that his name Simon but I know she did the cats and she did mice and she was a lot in a lot of the UK magazines and she was a very cute designer if you like a lot of cutesy stuff she's got a um, hedgehog that's just adorable I have not stitched any of them I probably will stitch one or two but I don't do a lot of the cutesy stuff but I can appreciate the art, and it's sad to see that she passed. I don't think she was that old. I really don't. I'm not sure what she passed from, but I saw, I think it was on Facebook, uh, Romy Creations had put up a post. So you can read about that if you're more interested. I, I did a quick, like, Google search, but it didn't say anything as to... It, I, I didn't even see anything saying she passed. I just saw from Romy, but when I did the Google search... It didn't show me anything about it. There was no news clips, so so sorry to hear that, you know. And, um, and that's all I've got. No, I lied. Okay, so I'm not gonna end on a sad note because I was just kind of thinking, God, that kind of sucks to end on a sad note like that, right? Um, I have a giveaway. I have actually well over 500 subscribers now. 
when I say well over, for me it's well over because it's like up past 570, which was only 500 last time. So that's a good thing. So I put together, I started throwing some stuff in a container, not literally thrown, but I started seeing stuff and I'm like, oh, this would be cute, that would be cute. And then I finally decided on what I was going to give away. I have decided when I was going through my stuff from Nashville and putting it in my app, I have the cross stitch app, I noticed I have two of these. So one of the items, it's going to be all one package. I'm only given the one. And um, it's Primitive Smalls 3. You can get the other Primitive Smalls. There's eight of them all together. You can pick and choose, buy all of them over on her Etsy from uh, Dames of the Needle. Okay, so I'm going to give that. I also have, i never used, and I have so many little, I have... I have beeswax from uh, from uh, Donna Ray, so I can give up this one. This one's cute. It's a sunflower, a daisy, a posy. It's called a posy. Let's be nondescript as as to what kind of flower it really is. And it comes in this little handmade cloth bag. Have that. I also have, I have, I have an extra one of these. Actually, I have, I have like two more of these. So I figured I could part with one that I haven't used yet. And it's a highlighter. It's got magnets on either side, so it could double as a magnet thing for your chart on your magnet board. Help you ha highlight what you're working on if you don't want to mark it up. And that's really good for uh, samplers and stuff if you're doing band samplers. And you can throw your needle on it when you're not using it. So I'm going to put that in there. I also have a pair of scissors. I use a pair of these scissors. They're over there. And they're cute. They're pretty sharp. Little embroidery scissors. I kept the sheath on it so it doesn't poke through. And I'm going to put it in uh, bubble wrap so it doesn't poke anything because all of that is going to come in one of my bags. I'm going to, it's almost Easter. Easter's coming. It's got this cute little bunny and they're lavender crystals with little flower beads. It's got flowers and then it's got lambs and bunnies. So we got the bag got the scissors, the waxer, the highlighter, and the Primitive Smalls 3 for the giveaway. Now, how unprepared am I? I had it all together, and I'm trying to think right now what I want you to do. Let's go with I want you to tell me one good thing one good thing about you about your family about your neighbor about something that's happened to you something that makes you happy something it's just something that makes you happy. Something that made your day. It could be last week, last month, last year, today. So tell me my one good thing is. Because I will look up good thing then. And this will run for two weeks. Till my next video. next, uh, Which is two Wednesdays. And I will send the whole shebang to you. It is open to the public. Don't say giveaway. Don't. Don't be three years old. Uh, okay, so don't be. You have to be 18. Um, don't say giveaway. Don't be a jerk. Don't get on my nerves. Don't yell at your mom. I don't know. I don't have any more rules. You want
want me to think of more rules. Don't do drugs. Remember, curling irons are for external use only. Okay? So tell me your good thing. Tell me what makes you smile. You don't have to blow smoke up my ass. I'm not asking for that. I want what makes you happy. Okay? And uh, I'll do a drawing and we'll give some stuff away. Hopefully you like what I chose. If you don't, then don't enter. Let somebody else win that would really like it. How about that? Because I'm indifferent. <laughs> Thank you again for sitting here for almost an hour listening to me babble and look at my stuff. And I hope everybody's having a great day. And if not, I hope it's a better day tomorrow. Don't forget, don't let anybody steal your sunshine.